Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. To offer this Holy Rosary for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, for those who are sick, especially with COVID-19, for all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital and pharma staff, security forces, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, airline personnel, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government, and for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed. I believe, I believe in, in one, one God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man, for our sake. He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Glorious Mysteries 
the first mystery, the resurrection of Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of her mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins, save us from, from the fires of hell, hell and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. Then after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intention of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Horatio Imperata for COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to help. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion in holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to our protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Colongsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please all stand and let us pray the novena to our Mother of Perpetual Hell. Pray for our country, the 
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Together, merciful, merciful Father, you, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. perpetual help from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother you are the kindest the most loving of all mothers look tenderly on us your children as we now ask you to help us in all our needs especially this one please mention your petitions While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, 
that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us, that we may give out hearts completely to Christ this Christmas. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us that we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us 
that we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Together, Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, pray, pray for, for us, pray, pray for, for all the people of God. God. May, May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Amen. Act of Consecration Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and mother of the church you are also our mother ever ready to help us with hearts full of love for you we consecrate ourselves to your immaculate heart so that we may be your devoted children obtain for us through sorrow for sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism we consecrate our minds and hearts to you that we always do the will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you, that we may love God better, and live not for ourselves, but for Christ, your Son, and that we may see Him and serve Him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of Perpetual Help, we pledge to model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. Amen. Amen. Please all stand. Lift your 
child as a beacon light to the port where I fain would be and mother of Christ mother of Christ this do I ask of when the voyage is o'er, all who stand on the shore and show him at last to me. Please kneel. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life, he has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love, to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother, to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially through the Nubina, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in His love. To the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We seek the help of our mother, mother perpetual help for our sick members of the family. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick especially grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters Amen, Amen. Please all stand Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for the thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors, for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, and for all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration. 
Today is Wednesday before Epiphany. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Jason Nagverta. Please all stand. <music> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We begin our celebration by acknowledging our sins, humbly begging the Lord to grant us pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that the bringer of your salvation, who for the world's redemption came forth with newness of heavenly light, may dawn afresh in our hearts and bring us constant renewal who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God has revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin, because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy before the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord comes, He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Alleluia. 
God spoke to us, to our ancestors, through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said. And followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat, mga kapatid. Good morning. Pakibati din ng good morning ang ating mga katabi. And welcome to our parish church, to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. At gayon din po sa ating mga online parishioners who are also with us. We bring your prayers with us in this Eucharistic celebration. We come to day four of the new year, 2023. Ang bilis ng panahon. January for a God. No? Katutulog lang natin, katatapos lang ng hangover. No? For some of you, ito, January 4 na agad, day 4. And if you are following our list or our 23 for 2023, we are on the fourth word. We're trying to dig deeper into some keywords in the scriptures because this month is the National Bible Month. So my intention, basically, for creating this list is not to create something new, but it's for us to go deeper into an appreciation of the Word of God, the words, human words, and the Word of God Himself, Jesus Christ. So we come to day four, word number four. If you have time today, dear friends, I can only explain this for around 10 minutes. But if you have time, please go over our gospel today, John chapter 1, verse 35 to 42, and meditate on this the whole day, the whole week, and even the whole year. This gospel is enough for a whole retreat that you can cover verse by verse and go into the meaning of each word. I tell you, hindi ko kayo matatapos. While I was preparing for this reflection, ang daming-daming mga pumapasok sa isip ko na sa tingin ko isang retreat po dapat po ito. 
Itong John chapter 1 verse 35 to 42, ito yung paborito po ng mga madre at mga pare to talk about vocation. Kung pag-uusapan ang bukasyon o kaya ay pagtawag, ito yung isang magandang uh, kwento sa aklat ni Juan sa Ebanghelyo ni San Juan para ipaliwanag ang kahulugan ng isang pagtawag ng Panginoon. If you would allow me, just give me a few minutes. Let's do a little creative imagination like St. Ignatius would propose about the gospel today. Narinig naman natin lahat, but if you would allow me at least for a minute or two, balikan natin. Kasi si St. John, the evangelist, as a storyteller, hindi lang na tayo binibigyan ng straight-up story. He's, he gives us a setting, He gives us the characters, He gives us some colors of the episode in the Gospel. So let's look at the setting. Ang binigay ni St. John na setting ay St. John the Baptist. Huwag tayo makonfuse kay John the Apostle, the Beloved, and John the Baptist. So the setting is John the Baptist. Standing with two of his disciples. Are you with me now? Can you just, in your imagination, visualize St. John the Baptist with his beard and with his, with his camel, with, with, his, uh, uh, with his crude clothing and sandals and all that. And two disciples were with him. They were standing by. And then somebody just passes by. And as he watched, Jesus walked by. So nakatayo yung tatlo, siguro nagkukwentuhan, ano bang gusto niyong ulam mamayang lunch? Yeah, sige, nagkukwentuhan yung tatlo. Abang sila yung nagkukwentuhan, dumaan ang isang mama. And then John was so, not shocked or surprised, but he fell in love with a guy who was passing by. And John told his disciples, Behold, the Lamb of God. Just look, go into that story. Go into that setting. They were standing, conversing, and Jesus passes by, and John saw Jesus. Behold, the Lamb of God. Who says these words during the Mass? I say these words during the Mass. I lift up the host and I say, Behold, the Lamb of God. These are not the words of the priest. These are words of John the Baptist when he saw Jesus passing by. I would like you to enter into that moment when John saw Jesus. I don't know if they saw each other for the first time after a long time. Magpinsan po yung dalawa Most probably they grew up together and maybe hindi na sila nagkita habang sila lumalaki. They had their own careers. Si Jesus naging carpenter. Si John the Baptist became a preacher. And nakita siguro sila by the River Jordan or somewhere in the, in the Judean desert. And John saw Jesus. And he could not contain himself. Behold the Lamb of God. Again, the title, the Lamb of God, has a very rich connotation in the scriptures, which, which I will not go into that later siguro. But behold the Lamb of God, ang sabi ni John. And then... The two disciples heard what he said and began to follow Jesus. <laughs> Sabi ng dalawang disciple, John, teka lang. Iwanan ka namin, ha? Susundan namin siya. And siguro, John, okay, go, go, follow him. I won't mind. And look at the humility of John. The humility of John is, eh, barkada tayo eh. Di ba? Dabarkads tayo. Tapos iwanan niyo ako ngayon para sundan siya. No. John did not have that at all. He, he, he encouraged his two disciples. Go, follow him. Follow him. And then the two were following Jesus. And Jesus turned around and saw them following him and said, and said to them, said to the two, What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Ano hinahanap nyo? And then the two said, Master, where are you staying? Teacher, where are you staying? And then Jesus said to them, Well, come, come and see. Come and see. And then they stayed with Jesus, nag-sleepover, 
<laughs> Ang dalawa, because it was four in the afternoon, so gumagabi na, hapon na, late afternoon, they came and they saw where Jesus was staying. So here's the puzzle. Where did they stay? Saan yung pinuntahan nila? May tirahan ba si Jesus? Meron ba siyang address? Wala. Foxes have layers, birds have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Maybe, like John the Baptist, he was a street dweller. He was a homeless guy. Maybe living in a cave. Or maybe living in the homes of his friends. We don't know. But they came and they saw. And the two disciples were so excited about what they experienced. And this one, one disciple was named Andrew. The other one was not. He came and went to see his brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah. And then dali-dali, si Peter naman, si Simon, pumunta agad, tiningnan, nag-check. And Jesus told him, Now you shall be called Peter. You are no longer Simon. This is a beautiful story of the call of the first disciples. But let me go now to the word number four. Word four, look. What are the first words of Jesus in the whole scriptures, in the whole New Testament? Sabi po ng mga Bible scholars, the first words of Jesus in the Bible are these words. What are you looking for? Sa so, dinami-dami ng salita na pwedeng simulan ni Jesus para sa kanyang misyon, hindi niya sinabi na, ako ang Mesiyas, ako ang tagapagligtas, ako ang magliligtas sa inyong lahat. The first words of Jesus were actually a question. What are you looking for? Ito po yung unang salita sa unang mga araw ng bagong taon. At ito rin yung unang salita na binigkas ni Jesus sa kanyang pagsisimula ng pagkapahayag ng mabuting balita. Hindi sagot ang unang mga salitang pinahayag ng salita ng Diyos ay tanong, What are you looking for? At ang sabi po ng mga biblical scholars, si Andrew pinangalanan yung isa hindi. Bakit? Kasi gustong ipaalam din ni St. John sa atin, ikaw yun, ako yun. May mga tanong din tayo sa buhay at tinatanong din tayo ni Jesus. Kapatid, anak, what are you looking for? Ito yung magandang pagnilaya natin sa ikaapat na araw ng bagong taon. What are you looking for? Dami-daming hinahanap ng mga kabataan. Sabi po ni St. Augustine, My heart is restless. You have made me for yourself, O Lord. And my heart is restless until it rests in you. So many people today are restless. We have restless hearts, wandering minds. We have restless relationships. Hindi mapanatag, hindi mapanatili, laging may hinahanap, laging may hinihingi. Sa mga tao ngayon sa ating paligid, marami akong nakikita at nakakausap ng mga kabataan. Ano ba talaga hinahanap mo, anak? Meron po akong isang, ito po online parishioner din natin. Parang ito na po ang nagiging ministry ko ngayon dahil I try to engage our online parishioners. So meron pong isang online parishioner natin na may problema sa anak niya. Hindi, syempre hindi ko naman babagitin kung sino. May problema siya sa anak niya. Isang anak niya pasaway na ngayon. Parang dati daw nung bata ito, nung elementary. Ano naman, mabait na bata. Pero ngayon daw, nung pagdating ng college, ang dami ng kalukuhan. dami ng ginagawang kabulastugan. 
Yan ang term niya. Parang sabi niya, Father, sakit-sakit na ng ulo ko sa anak ko. Hindi ko alam kung ano bang gusto niyang gawin sa buhay niya. At sabi niya, ito, natawa ko bigla. Sabi niya, Father, gusto nga, makabuntis na yan eh. Huwag naman. <laughs> Bakit naman? <laughs> Para, Father, malaman niya kung gaano ibig sabihin ng responsibilidad. No? Yeah, gusto niya, anak niya makabuntis na para malaman nung bata kung ano ibig sabihin ng responsibilidad. Kasi daw, parang ala na, hindi niya nakikita na may pangarap pa ba to, o may gusto pa bang gawin sa buhay niya, ayaw na mag-aaral. Nag-aaral naman, exclusive school pa ang, ang, ang kanyang an, an, mahal-mahal ang tuition father. Pero hindi ko alam kung ano nangyari sa anak ko. Hindi ko alam kung ano gusto niya. Friends, may anak ba kayong ganyan? O may asawa ba kayong ganyan? O ikaw ba'y ganyan? Hindi mo alam kung anong gusto mo. Yan ang unang mga salitang binigkas ni Jesus. Gusto niyang tanungin tayo, ikaw, what are you looking for? Ano ba talaga yung nahanap mo sa buhay? Kasi minsan mapaghanap tayo kaya hindi tayo mapanatag. Eh. Nawalang ka ng trabaho. Ayaw mo na. Kasi hindi mo na nakuha yung gusto mo eh. At tatanungin mo siya, ano pa bang gusto mo sa buhay? Eh, wala na akong gusto eh. Ayoko na. Yun po ang pinakamahirap pag hindi mo alam kung anong gusto mo. Kaya tinatanong ni Jesus din tayo. At maraming bes uulit po yan. Uulit si Jesus, tatanungin niya isa-isa. Yung may sakit, yung hindi makalakad, yung bulag. Tatanungin niya isa-isa yan. Hindi niya agad papagalingin. Ang tatanungin niya ay, what can I do for you? What do you want me to do for you? Kasi gustong malaman ni Jesus, ano bang laman ng puso mo? What are your questions in your heart? What are the questions in your life? Gusto malaman ng Panginoon sa pagsasimula ng bagong taon. Hindi siya muna magbibigay ng sagot. Pero maganda sa araw na ito, day four, ilahad natin sa Panginoon ang mga tanong natin. Gustong malaman ni Jesus yan. Kapatid, what are you looking for? Ano ba talaga hinahanap ng puso mo? Bakit di ka mapanatag? Ba't lagi nalang mainit ang ulo mo? Bakit lagi ka nalang palaaway? Bakit lagi ka nalang hindi ma- maayos sa iyong disposition? Hindi ka makausap ng maayos? Ang dami namang nagtatsyaga sa'yo, nagmamahal sa'yo. Ang daming sumusuporta sa'yo. Pero hindi mo alam kung ano gusto mo. And God is so patient with us. Jesus is so patient with us because He often leaves us to ourselves. He gives us space and He just asks the question, What are you looking for? Stay there. Ang sabi po ng isang uh, makata na manunulat, si Rainer Maria Rilke, ang sabi niya, Live with the question for now. Be patient towards all that is, that is unsolved in your heart. And try to love the questions now. Live the questions now. Perhaps slowly you will arrive at the answer. Sa pagsimula ng bagong taon, mahalagang malaman muna natin ng mga tanong bago tayo maghanap ng sagot. Kasi kung hanap ka agad ng sagot at hindi mo naintindihan yung tanong, hindi magiging tama ang sagot. Sa akin pong mga mentor when I was doing my doctoral dissertation, ang sabi niya, Jason, hindi importante kung ano yung result ng study mo. Ang importante, malinaw ang tanong na gusto mong sagutin. Kasi pag hindi malinaw ang thesis statement mo, pag hindi malinaw ang key questions mo, walang kwenta yung resulta ng pag-aaral mo. At palagay ko, ganun din sa buhay ng tao. Hanap tayo ng hanap ng sagot, pero unang dapat gawin, ano ba talaga ang tanong mo? What are you looking for in your life? I will not give you an answer, but let's stay with the question for now. I invite you, brothers and sisters, lalo na yung mga kabataan na naghahanap ng saan ba talaga ako, sino ba talaga ako, saan ba talaga ako dapat, ano bang gap- dapat kong gawin sa buhay ko, o sa mga mag-asawa, ano bang decision dapat namin gawin sa taong ito, ano ba dapat ang mga dapat namin puntahan. Yan. Marami tayong mga tanong, and the Lord welcomes the questions. What are you looking for? Let the Lord stay with you and tell you, come, stay with me. We will not answer the question yet.
but come, stay with me. And slowly we will arrive at an answer. Leave the question for now. What are you looking for? And come and stay with Jesus and allow Jesus to explore the question of your life with you. Friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. O God, who bestow light on all the nations, grant your peoples the gladness of lasting peace and pour into our hearts that brilliant light by which you purify the minds of our fathers in faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim. is asking us today what are you looking for he's here ready to listen to us you are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim. We when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Let us now pray also for the intentions and needs of our family, especially our family members who are in need of light and direction in life, for those who are looking for things, for those who are never satisfied, as we pray for the intentions of this Mass. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, our loved ones who have died in your mercy for Pope Benedict XVI. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and the saints, Santa Maria Goretti, Saint Padre Pio, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. children of the loving Father, we turn to him and we pray together. Deliver us from evil. 
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus, 
prayer of St. Padre Pio. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late, and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers. I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart, while on earth, and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us also pray for our family, especially the members of our family that are restless, that are looking for something, that want an answer. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In a moment of silence, let us pray for the intentions and needs of our family. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepen trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining our Mass today. This is the fourth day of January, day four of our reflection. You focus on the word, look. What are you looking for? The Lord wants to know. 
He is interested in your questions. Don't worry about the questions or don't worry about the answers. The Lord will provide it in the end. For now, meditate, pray. What are you looking for? Let your restless heart be surrendered to the heart of Jesus and the heart of Jesus who will give you rest like St. Augustine. Look, what are you looking for? The Lord wants to know. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce Do, Expes Nostra Salve, A Te Clamamus, Exules Fili Heve, A Te Suspiramus, Gementes et flentes in ac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illus tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Iesu, Benedictu fructu ventris tui, nobis pos hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis virgo. for us, Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.